Alright, so there's a so-called 1cc on 5.4 with SSX. Uh, you probably noticed I was not really staggering to much of anything except for a couple of attacks. So the reason for that is I completed the Chio's Divine Armor set, which gives you permanent super armor. Now, there are some attacks that break super armor, but for the most part, <laughs> you pretty much just tank everything, which really helps with her because uh, her best crowd control is the charge down triangle. And it can be really difficult to land that because you have some advanced, seems like you have some invincibility frames and armor at the beginning, but right when she's about to make impact with the ground after the jump, uh, you can get hit out of it. A lot of times I've wasted a meter because it doesn't actually get to the point where you can do damage. Uh, you'll get hit out of it before she makes the ground pound, basically waste your meter, and have the enemies, uh, you know, kind of dissipate so you can't group them up again. But this armor really helps her out because it basically prevents that from happening. Now I only have purple armor for it. Uh, the red armor I would be able to awaken and uh, that would allow me to get more stats. Like my stats are, are decent right now. I have about a thousand attack and about 860, but actually 870 defense which is not bad. You can see I, I took quite a few hits there and it wasn't really enough to put me in any danger. But ideally I would like to have a, a red set I still need to get this to plus 25. Uh, I kind of miscalculated things a bit. I think I missed the cash shop bonus to get the refined gold, so I'm just going to have to grind it out the legit way. What I was going to do for the third awakening skill that you get for plus 25 is I was, was going to make it get the one that uh, makes it so there's a chance that you'll uh, override or ignore an enemy's defense. And with that fat damage boost I have there, that's probably going to do really insane damage. So we'll see what happens there. None of the Chio's Divine set, uh, none of it has Awakening skills. So you're kind of disadvantaged there, but it's good enough for now. Uh, I'm still working on the Heroin Light Armor set. I haven't decided which one of these I'm going to use, but I only have two pieces to go. Most likely I'll use this one because this one's well-rounded for her three core stats, uh, Strength, Constitution, and Agility. So I have the chest piece, the shoulder piece, and this one is actually pretty good. And the cape. Now I would need to use some reforged stones on this to get rid of that int. Oh wait, no, never mind. Here's the here's the one I was going to use. Uh, here's the heroin cape. So I'm missing the boots and the helm. Uh, the boots drop from a secret area, which I don't really understand yet and the helm just drops from the end of 5-4. Of you can also get it from time mode. Now from what I understand it seems like none of the unique sets are actually proccing as much as they're supposed to. So people are understandably a little pissed off right now as it's not easy to get them. Especially to get ones that actually have things on them you actually want. So people are a little pissed right now but I'm pretty sure it will be fixed. Uh, apparently the uh, community manager was on holiday so hopefully we'll get some answers soon. But you can buy them here from time mode. So that's what I was going to do. I was going to buy the headpiece from here. And then just try to get the boots from 5-4. Uh, if I can get someone to help me. But yeah, that's my progress with SSX. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I'll probably uh, gravitate towards some other games for a while. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see. I have been playing this a lot. Just because it's, a, it's a relaxing game. Uh, it's been kind of a stressful year for me. 2017 was stressful. So it's not as nice to just chill and play this, but if you guys would like to see something else, go ahead and let me know. Peace.